Lecture 8. Greetings to the viewers and listeners of Lecture 8 under the lecture series on the YouTube channel The Vedic Big Bang by Shiv R. Paul. The title of the Lecture 8 is The Vedic Thought on the Black Substance on the Moon. There are four to five modern hypotheses for the origin of the moon. The fission hypothesis, the capture hypothesis, the co-formation hypothesis, and the giant impact hypothesis. This author has added to this list a millennia old fifth theory, the Vedic creation of the moon. They are discussed under the subheading Vedic origin of the moon in chapter 11, volume 2 of this author's book entitled The Vedic Big Bang, a new cosmology scenario revealed in the ancient Veda mantras of India by Shiv R. Pal. Of the five hypotheses mentioned above, the capture hypothesis in modern astronomy and the Vedic creation of the moon theory discussed in detail in the book share considerable commonality. This lecture, the lecture 8, presents a discussion on only one of the numerous observations of the lunar surface that were recorded in the ancient Vedic history, which is the Indian Aryan history. All these lunar observations are from beyond the distant past of the historic time milestone at 3102 BC. After carrying out rigorous research, in Indian history and literature, this author has positively established this time milestone at 3102 BCE in chapter 3 of his book mentioned above. The observations by the Vedic Rishis sages uniquely assert that the black substance on the lunar surface is of terrestrial origin from the earth. As shown in the synoptic picture of the moon on the left, broad features of the moon are discernible from the earth, Karsinasa. The black substance called Maria or Mari is clearly seen spread out on the lunar front surface facing the earth. About 31% of the front side of the lunar disk is seen covered with the dark Maria substance. When the satellite pictures of the back side of the moon became available, it was learned that the dark Maria regions were absent on the back side of the moon. This is obvious from the picture on the left. The dark area was only about 1% of the backside of the moon. The lunar samples brought back by satellite expeditions concluded that the Maria material is the powdery basalt, the dark colored sand, of volcanic origin. Modern astronomers have come up with several contrasting hypotheses for the origin of the Maria material on the moon. Most hypotheses are related to what took place locally on the moon. It is the millennia old mysterious pronouncements in the Vedic literature that said the black substance on the surface of the moon is of terrestrial earth origin. The Vedic pronouncements further emphasize that this black substance is 
from the deep inside the heart of the earth it is from the terrestrial volcanic eruption the deduction of the vedic literature is unique and completely different from the hypothesis by the modern astronomers researching the vedic literature this author came across a large number of references pertaining to the formation of the moon and the character of its surface major related vedic references are listed below in this block there is vast modern literature on the moon covering different aspects of the moon just a few important deductions from this modern pool are listed below Harold C Urey in Physics and Astronomy of the Moon Academic Press New York 1962 suggested that the black substance maria on the lunar surface is owing to meteoritic impact on the moon Zednik Kopel in Nature suggested cometary impact on the lunar surface GP Kuiper General of Geophysical Research suggested that the dark maria regions were lunar volcanic lava flow the analysis of the lunar soil samples brought back by apollo 11 showed that none of the three speculations was correct maria is absent from the back side of the moon one conclusion that modern astronomers drew was the moon was extensively bombarded in its early history surprisingly for a short period of time the question not answered however is why is maria only on the near side earth side of the moon one interesting explanation came from zednik kopel he suggested that if for some reason the moon came closer to the earth and its orbit dipped below the roche limit of 18476 kilometers from the center of the earth or an altitude of 12105 kilometer from the earth's surface the lunar crust would experience tidal forces due to the earth's gravity enough to heat it up causing mechanical damage and singeing this is said to be the cause for the tarnishing of the near side of the moon problems with kopal's suggestions what caused the moon to dip so low the moon's grazing momentarily at the roche limit would be an extremely critical phenomenon to singe only 31% of the front surface of the moon why did the entire moon not get attracted to the earth and burn up what pushed the moon back into its safe orbit above 18476 kilometers from the earth's surface the vedic explanation the mantra brahmana 1/5/13 the brahmana commentary book on the third veda the sam veda states yadadash chandramasi krishnam prithivya hridayam shritam which translates into that black substance on the surface of the moon is there from the heart interior of the earth the beauty of the mantra brahmana statement is that it is within a physics reference frame not a myth or a religious belief it states an unambiguous geological event 
with certainty where the matter from the heart of the earth the black lava is discreetly deposited on the moon it had to have been a catastrophic terrestrial volcanic eruption that took the earth's lava to the moon logically the lava would exclusively get deposited on the on the front surface of the moon the mantra brahmana statement presents a unique science thought different from copal's and the thoughts of the other modern lunar astronomers in a context of matter transfer the shatpat brahmana the brahmana commentary book on the second veda the yajur veda states deva habai sangramam prathibya anamritam tadetat chandramasi krishnam this translates into the nature's forces were in battle to transfer matter one that is poisonous for the earth was put on the moon that poisonous matter is the black substance on the moon lunar samples laboratory analysis of apollo 11 lunar samples revealed by these authors that the texture of the lunar samples is similar to the terrestrial volcanic basalts and they are of impact origin not of lunar volcanic origin the terrestrial lava would reach the lunar surface decidedly with impact obviously the lunar samples have some ancient connection with the earth one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions in recent times was pinatubo on june 15 1991 in the philippines that oozed 10 billion tons of magma participating in global atmospheric studies with powerful lasers this author learned that pinatubo sent gases and aerosol dust into the stratosphere 10 to 50 km altitude covering the entire globe it substantially reduced the density of the ozone layer a rough estimate suggests that if one took all of pinatubo volcano's magma and spread it on the near side of the lunar surface it would cover an area of lunar surface as big as the present dark maria of the moon with a uniform thickness of about 1 foot a stupendous terrestrial volcano would exclusively dump lava on the front side of the moon and not on the back side therefore the most likely explanation for the black on the moon is the vedic pronouncement for terrestrial lava to escape the earth it has to be thrown up at a speed of 11 km per second or more whereas the volcanoes are known to create speeds only as high as 600 meters per second therefore for dumping magma on the moon the volcano has to be of cataclysmic nature these vedic science ideas present an opportunity for lunar physicists to estimate the possible effect of this mass transfer from the earth to the moon how was the position of the moon affected and how did the orbital moment of the earth moon system change and from where could the catastrophic volcano have erupted if the origin of the black powdery sand of the moon is what the vedas said it was the early apollo flights 
to the moon may have brought back some samples of terrestrial origin. Lunar age. Large number of geologists studied the age of the lunar samples brought back by Apollo flights 11, 12, 14. A few of references are listed here. The isochrons or the radiometric dating rendered three groups of lunar ages 4.6 billion years, 4.31 billion years, and 3.9 billion years. It seems the lunar geologists have a consensus on 3.9 billion years being the age of Maria, the black substance on the moon. This should correspond to the terrestrial volcanic event suggested in the Vedic literature that sent lava from the Earth's heart to the front surface of the moon. The other two numbers, 4.6 billion years, 4.31 billion years, likely are respectively the ages of the Earth and the Moon. It is mind-boggling to note why the Vedic principle millennia ago would suggest that the Moon was created after the Earth, something similar to what is accepted today in modern astronomy. A narration in Taitiriya Samhita 5-2-3 is about two separate episodes of matter transfer, one from Dew, brilliant space surrounding the Sun, to the Earth, and the other from the Earth's interior to the Moon. Yadasya Yajya Masit Tadadas Chandra Masi Krishna. This translates into the Yajya matter, hot burning matter of the dew, brilliant space surrounding the sun, was placed on the earth, and earth's Yajya matter was placed on the moon, which is the black substance on the moon. The three references from the Vedic literature presented here are from three different commentary books on different Vedas, written by different authors at different epochs of time in the far antiquity of the Vedic civilization. Yet, they have a common astronomical or geophysical subject, the black substance on the surface of the moon. The context and the emphasis are different. However, one emphasizes the process and the other the source. In all three Vedic deductions, the Maria substance on the lunar surface is of terrestrial origin. It is interesting to note that the Mantra Brahmana 1-5-13 indicates the specific locale for its origin that the black substance originated in the interior of the earth. The Taitiriya Samhita 5-2-3 indicates that it is something that once was with the earth and the Shatpat Brahmana 1-3-3-18-19 emphasizes its chemical properties that it was deadly for life on earth. Collectively, all these references create a vivid picture of the process in which there was a transfer of matter from the earth to the moon and that at the time of this transfer, the moon existed separately and presumably closer to the earth. Conclusion I now conclude this lecture with a short story about the moon. About five decades ago, I wrote a paper, not a run-of-the-mill paper, yet within the physics reference frame, citing proper references. The ancient references in the paper uniquely stated that the black matter on the surface of the moon was from the Earth's interior. 
I sent the paper to the co-editor of the journal, The Moon, the Nobel Prize winner astronomer, Professor Harold C. Urey. I anticipated that the paper would be ignored. Instead, Professor Urey wrote a letter to me, dated January 16, 1973. He wrote, I find that the paper you wrote is amusing, but I do not regard it as scientifically significant. I suppose if enough people guess what the broad features of the moon were, someone somewhere would propose ideas approximate to those found in science. The references I presented in the paper were from serious commentary books on the Vedas. To this day, they exist in book form. They uniquely stated the astronomical phenomenon about the surface of the moon. So I did not understand why a paper reporting a unique discovery about the lunar surface would not be scientifically significant and why would it be amusing as mentioned earlier his co-editor professor kopal hypothesized that the maria was formed when the moon once critically grazed near the ross limit and got singed there is no proof of what pushed the moon down to the ross limit suffered mechanical damage and raised back to its safe orbit. All this was a guesswork, but it was deemed scientifically significant. There is nothing amusing about the Mantra Brahmana if there is nothing amusing in Kopal's hypotheses and in the speculative other hordes of research papers on the moon that were published and turned out to be speculative. As a matter of fact, all four to five modern moon formation theories listed in the beginning of this lecture are nothing more than speculation. The contemporary theory of moon's volcanoes causing dark maria was deemed scientifically significant till the other side of the moon was photographed with no sign of lava oozing volcanoes. Now this is amusing. It is a basic canon that a unique idea could lead to a great discovery. The earth being the source of Maria on the moon could be that unique idea. If a Veda mantra states that the moon is illuminated by the solar rays, look at these references. It is pure science having nothing to do with religion, mythology, philosophy or amusement. Terrestrial volcanic matter reaching the lunar surface, tarnishing only its front side facing the earth, is a scientific thought of exceptional value. This author has come across several Vedic references stating that the moon at one time was near the sun and then it was much closer to the earth. Maybe it was then that the terrestrial lava reached the front side of the moon. This slide provides the title of the book by this author published in two volumes, The Vedic Big Bang, A New Cosmology Scenario Revealed in the Ancient Veda Mantras of India by Shivar Pal. It also provides Amazon links for ordering the book in a desired format, paperback, 
or hard cover, black and white or color interior. Thank you.